Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for this video. It's Stress Awareness Week this week, so we thought it'd be good to just make you aware <laughs> that it is Stress Awareness Week. And we understand as a, as, as a hospice that um, times like this, especially you know if you're going through other things as well, times like this, times like lockdown on top of that is, is very, it, it's just so stressful for people. It can cause a lot of anxieties in people. So we just want to make people aware that we've, we've got things out there that can help you. So if you are logged onto this video and, and you're logged onto our YouTube page, then just have a look at some of the videos that we've done. We've done a lot of mindfulness videos, so to help with stress and anxieties. We've got um, Jeanette, the psychotherapist, and our OT, Alison, talking about how to deal with with stress and anxieties and, and what you can do to, to help you with, with that. Um, so just, you know, if, if you are feeling stressed, then then maybe take a look at some of the videos that we've done, because I know that the, you, you know, we used to do a lot of mindfulness on, on the day service unit, and it does help people and the, the Tai Chi and things like that. It can just really de-stress de-stress people and just make you become more aware of yourself and just help you know can it can help your mind just to to de-stress really so we just want you to know that we have got those things out there for you to to hopefully have a look at and and that hopefully it will help and um, another thing that i've just um well i've just put made <laughs> that i thought i'd show you is um making your own stress busters so You'll have seen the, you know, where you can hold them, you can squeeze them, you can just roll them around in your hand. You know, stress and anxieties, it can cause a lot of fidgeting and it can cause a lot of, you know, you, you just can't sit still and you just need something just to, uh, you know, mess around with. And and I know I do that, I, I, you know, when I'm stressed or anxious, I can feel my hands getting a bit fidgety. So... I thought these are, a, you know, these are a good idea. Just, to, you know, when you are feeling a bit stressed, when you feel a bit fidgety, um, you know, you can make these. They're really easy to make, just out of a balloon. And I've used some sand, but you can use flour. Um, and you just, it's just good just to, you know, breathe. Just roll them around in your hands and just take a bit of time just to de-stress. De so just thought I'd show you how I made these. Really, really simple. Um, all you'll need is a balloon, and like I say, I've used some sand. But if you've got some flour, cornstarch, anything like that, anything nice and, and soft and, and malleable as well that you can, you know, move around, then that would work. So I've got a balloon, and I've got a funnel. I've made my own funnel because I didn't have one. <laughs> So hopefully if you've got like um, a funnel in your kitchen somewhere, you can use that. But if not, I've just used a cardboard tube and I've just rolled up some paper to make my own funnel. And it does work. It might be a little bit messier, but it does work. So you need to get your balloon and you just need to put it at the end of the um, cardboard tube. Like that. So you've got your balloon at the end of the cardboard tube. This is where it gets a little bit messy, but you'll probably be neater than me. And you get your sand or your, your flour, whatever you've got, and then just pour it in the in the funnel, like so. So that's filling up nicely, so I'll do the same. Okay, so that's now filled with sand. I'm going to take the balloon off the edge. And then tie a knot in the top. Don't tie it too tight on there. Tie a knot in the top of your balloon. I'm not very good at tying knots in balloons. There we go. Let's pull that through. <laughs> Struggling with this balloon actually. There we go. <laughs> okay, so really, really quick, really, really simple. If you've got any balloons hanging around, 
and you can use one of those use some flour put the flour inside the balloon and you've got your own stress busters so you can make a couple so you can have one in each hand you can just make one and um, but they are good just to just to breathe just to focus your energies and you know onto the onto the stress busters and there you go so hopefully you'll be able to make a couple of those and they'll help with any any stresses and any any anxieties that you may have okay thank you for joining me bye